Oh, hey, 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 hey. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And sorry I was just stuttering there. As you probably could tell, I was playing a little Call of Duty Vanguard in real life. Yes. The Call of Duty Vanguard Alpha is now out, and I, I guess I started a tradition. Talk about these betas when they start coming out, or alphas I guess this one is, so I decided to do a third one right now for it. So, unlike Cold War and Back for Blood, this is not a beta per se, this is an alpha, which is the earliest form a game can take is alpha. And while playing this alpha, it's very apparent it's an alpha. I mean, look at these models. The lag, textures constantly popping in. It's definitely an alpha, but that's okay. Also, I should point out the alpha is a PlayStation exclusive, which is unfortunate to some Xbox players, but hey, don't worry, you'll get your time to shine soon. I was also very surprised because Sledgehammer Games is coming back to make this Call of Duty, and if you guys don't know, they made World War II, and well, that's a subjective Call of Duty. I personally didn't mind it. I know it has a lot of hate in the community. The alpha includes a game mode called Champion Hill. You guys remember Face Off from Modern Warfare, kind of 3v3, you get one life and whoever survives that round? This is like a more in-depth version of that, and I love it. Bringing back the dates up again, I played this on the 27th, right when the alpha went live, and you only had duos. However, today on the 28th, they now had trios go live. So I don't know if the 29th will add anything since this is being filmed on the 28th, so if there is anything, I hope it's just as good. My prediction is that squads might come to the 29th, but the game might be a little hectic right there. Well, Champion Hill is eight teams go up against each other, either in duos or trios, and you're put into a small little arena, and you have to go against each other there are eight teams per match two of these teams will go up against each other and simultaneously around the entire game every team will be going up against each other and in this game mode you have extra lives and cash on the ground that you can pick up y'all share lives depending on what mode you play on depends on how much lives you get but as you die a life go down and if your teammates die a life go down however on the map that scattered around are extra life tokens you can find i think it's one per game but it does come in handy if you do want to clutch around like that however in my case though i just grab it and then die so it's really nothing lost the cash on the ground or if you kill people you get cash or if you win rounds you get cash you can go back because it'll throw you into a buy round which gives you a minute to go through these four buy stations to buy like perks guns body armor grenades all that little stuff to help you distinguish your own play style from the other players i had a lot of fun with this game mode actually it was pretty thrilling i enjoyed seeing a more enhanced version of face off like i've said like four times in this video i played a lot of duos and i played a lot of trios at uh, the trios it's a bit more harder because there's three people in there there are some problems with this alpha it's not perfect obviously because it is alpha like i mentioned before texture pop-ins that model i found loading into a game there's a lot of lag in vanguard as you can probably tell by the joke i did earlier uh, that was in reference to the alpha obviously i have found myself rubber banding like a motherfucker in this build and obviously i know i can't expect much because it's an alpha but it is pretty damn annoying sometimes i'm not gonna lie also many times have i spawned in and just have been completely shot down from the other side of the map as soon as i spawn in also, enemies can spawn behind you and kill you like that. You got five lives left! Really, the spawning and balancing of that needs tweaked as well. I really love the gunplay in this game, though. Uh, my buddy Kyle, who played it with me, he said it was kind of like a mixture of Modern Warfare and Cold War if, like, they had a baby. And I honestly couldn't agree more. They brought the mounting back, which I'm a big fan of. I love mounting weapons to the walls and stuff like that. They have breakable barriers now that you can shoot through, blow up, and that's a really nice touch. I love it when the world can break apart at my doing. I didn't have any issues finding matches. I found plenty of matches. Another thing I really didn't like about this is that when you would be done in the match and they would kill you, you would have to sit through the entire game just to get your XP. A lot of times when I die, I just hit leave game and boot up another match because I don't care about the rest of the game and I would get none of the XP I just gained from that previous game. And sometimes I'd be having 13 kills, which would level you up. And I don't know if there was a certain level limit in the alpha. I only made it to level 7 because of this. That is like if 
you were to play a battle royale game, die early on in the battle royale game, and then be forced to watch the remaining of that battle royale to get the XP and all that stuff you gain from that match. I hope they fix that because that is really frustrating and I believe XP should be gotten as soon as it's given. Modern Warfare and Cold War, two games before this, did it right. I hope they fixed it. That's a real big issue for me. Also, since I am a PlayStation 5 user, and yes, I am got the nice new spiffy black controller. The dirt doesn't show up on this, so that's why I got it. The haptic feedback from the previous Call of Duty games where you pu push on the trigger and it would require a little extra force, that seems to be put to a minimum here. I believe that this is good actually, and I believe Vanguard does this right a little bit. Cold War Modern Warfare really demanded you to pull down on that trigger to fire your gun. I mean, obviously people are gonna go, well, what's, it's not that bad. It really is intrusive after a little bit, but Vanguard actually manages to do it right. So I just wanted to talk up on the controller talk with the game too, since I did experience that as well. And the vibrations were okay. I, everything felt good. Obviously there's not much to talk about since it's early alpha, it's one game mode. They did add trios today and I was very happy that I was able to play some of that. It was a little fresher, but there's not much to talk about with this build there's no multiplayer like actual call of duty multiplayer and what worries me is a little bit is that this has a release date of november 5th 2021 now if you remember cold war released november 13th 2021 so i could be wrong about this but for the first time this is going to be a call of duty game that's released in under a year from the last one this is extremely worrisome because Cold War, while I was excited for it, and while I did love it, had a lot of problems that had to be fixed just during the duration of the game's release. It's finally taken to where we are now to get Cold War in some playable state, and even then I still have problems connecting and matchmaking and stuff. So, I really hope that this was not a yearly worked on game and that this actually had development time before it because I'm getting sick and tired of buying these half-baked Call of Duty games. But who knows? Maybe my expectations will exceed me. I doubt it, but maybe it will. And the new Call of Duty game will be great. And you know what? For the gunplay of it, it does feel good. And Champion Hill is a good mode. But let me know what you guys think about it. Have you played the alpha yet? Are you enjoying it? If you are, let me know in the comments below. I always love to take the conversation a little further down there with you guys, if you're so inclined. I have an Instagram and I have a Twitter and you guys can go follow me over there. I would much appreciate it. I do post stuff on there. Uh, Instagram more so than Twitter. So, you know, go on and follow those. The links will be in the description below. And hey, why I got you down there, can we please get this video up to 10 likes? That'll be much appreciated. And also while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell for post notifications because I wouldn't want you to miss a single upload. I think that's going to be it for me today, guys. Uh, Call of Duty Vanguard's pretty promising and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm gonna head out of here.